Hi, I'm your host, Finzar, and welcome to How to Edit Your Own YouTube Video. Today, I'm gonna take you through all the steps on how you can edit your own video. But don't be scared. Come on in, join the gym, and let's work out how we can do this together. All right. This video has been sponsored by Storzar, the best shop for editors online. New editing course available right now. Link in the description. Before we start, we need to choose an editing software. Now there are plenty to choose from, but today we're gonna go with Premiere Pro. To start with, we're gonna wanna import our footage. So take your files wherever they are and then simply put them into your workspace. I'm gonna need that done by five o'clock, Finn. Okay? What the hell? When we've imported our footage, it's time to start arranging our video. So we take our files and we put them onto the timeline and start chopping. Now cutting up your footage is easy. Just make sure that you're cutting the bad bits out and keeping the good bits in. And there you have it, a tasty video. Adjustment layers are like clothes you put on. You can change them, play around with different styles and not worry about affecting what's underneath. For instance, you can add a smooth zoom to an adjustment layer, which will add a smooth zoom onto the final footage without changing that base footage. Adjustment layers are also really handy if you have knowledge on keyframes. Now, what are keyframes I hear you ask? Keyframes change the value of something from point A to point B, commonly used on smooth zooms and also moving objects across the screen. Let's say that on the first frame, you want something to be here, and then a few frames later, you want it to be here. You create keyframes on each of those frames and then in between them, your object will move. By default in Premiere Pro, we have linear keyframes, but we want Bezier keyframes. And there we have a smooth movement. And that's keyframes. Nearly all editing softwares have really cool effects that you can add to your footage to make it really funky in all sorts of different ways. And in something like Premiere Pro, you can just drag on these effects onto your adjustment layer. If you use an adjustment layer, you can easily remove the effect just by deleting the adjustment layer. Or you can drag that adjustment layer so that it affects other clips too. I'm in so much pain. You didn't use adjustment layers, did you? No. Bam. Bum. Bum. Music and sound effects are what make videos sing. They can really affect the mood of your video, so choose wisely. Make sure you don't pick anything too annoying. Oh, um... Yeah, you just export, you just export the video. <laughs> just that, yeah. And that's how you edit your own YouTube video. Well done, everybody, well done. Have you learned something? Yeah! 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 And remember, if you want to learn how to edit from beginner to pro, then all you have to do is watch the Finzar course. Can I get another round of applause? Yeah! Woo! All right. Look at that. Out.